Hello K Freaks, my name is Ara and welcome to my channel. And yeah, I'm a little bit sick. So today's video is the first video of my back to school season like series and I know I'm kind of late but I wanted to do some videos anyways. So today I'll show you three different ideas on how you can customize your own notebooks. They are super easy and without further ado, let's get into the video. For the first idea, we're gonna need a notebook, the template of your choice, gold paint or gold marker and watercolors so this is optional but i decided to start by covering my notebook with a white cardboard that's because like mine was too shiny and green yeah so i started by taking like the binding part the spiral i don't know if you call it like this and then i took apart the cover just to customize it so let's keep this apart and I started by gluing the cardboard to the cover with um, double sided tape but you can use any glue of your choice. Here I'm cutting just the excess and if you do this you have to redo all the holes of the like the binding parts just like this. And now let's go to the fun part. If you don't have watercolors, you can use acrylic paint and just mix it with water to make it like more watery, <laughs> of course. So there is no special pattern, you just have to start making that watercolor effect that is very trendy right now. And I really recommend you to just choose like two different colors and use different shades of them. And if you are worried because you used too much water and it's too watery or too intense, you just take a tissue and then just dab it like this to take off any excess. And then you just have to keep repeating this until you are happy with the result and then leave it to dry very, very well. Now, time to transfer our um, design to the cover. So for that you can use tracing paper or you can just like color the back of your template with a pencil and use that as a tracing paper if that makes sense. So here I'm just taping it in place. I'm using yellow tracing paper because I didn't want like um, black lines to show or something like this. And here I'm just tracing it very, very carefully. Here you can see a little bit of the result. Now moving to the best part which is just tracing the logo with the permanent marker but you also can use of course paint and a very thin brush but I think that will be more difficult than just the marker. And this is how my end up product looks like and I really really love this notebook. I think it's my favorite actually. Yep. So let's move to the second one. For this one we're gonna need of course a notebook and acrylic paint. So we will start by marking 5 centimeters from each corner on the top part of our notebook. Then we will do exactly the same but on the sides just like this. And then we will just connect our marks like this. Making like two triangles on like the top parts. Now we will mark half centimeter more from each mark that we made before. And then we will just connect again these new marks, just like this. Now we will mark from the side 3 cm and mark a line, just like this in vertical. And then we will mark half centimeter more, just like we did before. And then do another line. And we have to do the exact same thing on the other side. And the final look should be something like this. Now, moving to the letters and the name part, you can just freehand it, but I'm really bad at this. So I just took a template like from internet, I printed it, and I'm going to trace it. So, to transfer it, I'm just like painting the back with a pencil, and then I'll just tape it in place and outline it very, very carefully. And as you can see, ta-da! Here we have it. You may not see it, but it's there, believe me. <laughs> and now moving to the best part, which you may know that is painting for me. <laughs> so, you don't have to have like all the shades of the 
acrylic paint of course you have just to mix it to like achieve the shades that you need remember always to protect your um, notebook put in a sheet of paper in the middle and if it's a spoiler spiral sorry notebook i really recommend you to just take the cover and work just on the cover so yeah the paint then on the base color of your notebook you may have to give it like several coats which I did and the final result should be something like this. I really love the result and I saw like several uh, pictures on internet on phone cases that have this um, design and I always wanted to make a notebook. So moving to our third and last idea we are going to need a notebook of course. The template of the logo that we want to use I ended up changing like the logo. Super glue, white glue and tissue paper, toilet paper, kitchen paper, any kind of this paper will work and acrylic paint black and silver we will start by taking out like the binder the spiral part to work in the cover without like staining the pages and here I'm just outlining the logo that I choose as I told you before I just changed it like my mind and decided to use this logo and making like the logo a little bit thicker than it is because I don't know I just thought that it will be better for this kind of notebook so now I'm taking a piece of um, foam but you can use any like cartoon or something that you have at home and here I'm just putting it like against putting my template against um, the foam and pressing hard so like the pencil will transfer to it so the result is something like this you can use any piece of um, scrap or something that you have at home it doesn't have to be foam like and before cutting it I'm just marking where are like this is the back side so I just want to make sure that I'll know it later and then you just have to cut it carefully you can use an exacto if you want but like mosaic logo is very simple now it's time to glue it to our cover i'm using super glue but you can use any type of glue that you want and here i'm using a ruler just to make sure that they are well aligned but anyways when i was gluing it they moved a little bit so yeah don't worry about that because we're looking for we will make just this old look so it doesn't have to be perfect now we will take water and we have to mix it with uh, white glue we have to make a mixture that is half water and half white glue and mix it very 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 well now we will take our tissue paper or toilet paper or kitchen paper and we will take just the thinnest layer of it and start covering our cover just like this we have to brush our mixture on top of the tissue so the tissue will stick to like the logo and the cover the key point here is just to cover all the logo and also to make wrinkles with our um, tissue because that will just make this kind of um, old rug effect or something like this so yeah just make sure that um, the tissue is adapting perfectly to all the like holes or any um, different lines that your logo may have and you have to make as many coats as you think it's necessary for me I think I did two coats for like each part and this is my final result now it's time to leave it to dry and I recommend you to leave it to dry overnight so once it's dry this is the final um, result and now it's time to paint it black this part is very important because as there is wrinkles in our cover you have to make sure that you are painting under and in between and yeah covering just everything very well and once you have it you will just leave it to dry very very well and now we are almost done we will just have to uh, make the final touch with the silver paint just like this I recommend you to use a tissue dab it a little bit in paint and then take off the excess and you just have to brush lightly on top of your cover just like this this technique I've used so many times in different projects like of mine in the channel so you can just take a look of it and yeah you, you can make it gold if you want you don't have to use silver or other like metallic um, paints maybe a rose gold that will be interesting actually and yeah once you are done you just leave it to dry and then put it again in your notebook 
and you are done i really really love this one too i love the three of them <laughs> so that's it for today's video i hope that you really 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 like it if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends who are going back to school also if you want a second part of this video just leave it in the comment section down below and tell me which groups you want to see on the second part so if you do any of these ideas i would love to see a picture on any of my social media and as always thank you so 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 much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Annyeong!